Hip hop to the core, boom, baptized. Camouflage Monk, what's good, my dude? Alright, this is self taught. You're now rocking with Boom Baptism. No doubt, no doubt, man. Glad, glad to finally be here, man. Yeah, no doubt, yo. What's up? What you doing, man? I'm glad, glad to be a part of it. Word, word, word. Yo, Definitely. yo, what's up with the phone, son? Is, is, is the, the screen cracked? Yeah, yeah. You know I got kids, man. So, mm-hmm. you know, they, 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 they got the phone more than I do. Oh, word, you know, word. So, Mm-hmm. Well, back a bit. yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't nothing. Uh, yeah, no doubt, no, no doubt. So, yo, let's get into it. Um, how, how did you start making beats? Uh, actually, um, I mean, I always double dabble with beats or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. I always mess around, but I never thought they were really that good enough, you mm-hmm. know. Right. But uh, I had ended up moving. I ended up moving to Atlanta, um, back in like 2013, something like that. And uh, I was I linked with Wes. You know, he, he extended his hand, didn't have to at all. What he did anyway, just because mm-hmm. you know I'm from Buffalo too. You know, so when I went out there and I hit him like, now I'm coming to Atlanta, man, let's wait. Mm-hmm. Like, he he had every ample opportunity to not reach out at all, but he did. You know, so. We started, uh, we started Hitler too in my condo in Atlanta, and I wanted to make beats for Wes because, like, Derringer was out in Buffalo, so, and I had my own studio, and we was there 24-7, so it was something that just happened just off the strength because, like, I was just around, you know? Mm-hmm. I was around, so I just started making beats, and I started listening more to, uh, Wes style, and... You know, rest is history. I, I, I had, I had, a, I originally had like three placements on Hitler two, I think, or something. But then it got knocked down to like one, so I got like two tracks on my MacBook that didn't make Hitler two. Right. But it's crazy, crazy, crazy dope. You mm-hmm. know. Right. Right. But, but just at that time, we was going for a certain feel. We was going for a certain sound and a certain length at the same time. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, but like, like me and Wes, like I've been with Wes since. I've been with Wes literally like since Hitler two, you know. I mm-hmm. learned about him through Hitler one. I knew nothing about Wes until I heard Hitler one. Mm-hmm. You know, granted we from the same city. I mean, I know about his stature as far as like outside of rap, right. you know, how to hustle and all of that. I knew that, but as far as the rap and go, I didn't know he was that dope. You know, mm-hmm. I never knew he was that dope until I was riding down at thirty three, which is the uh, the way that rides through my city that takes you through my whole city. Right. And, uh, True indeed. Oh. So, um, what equipment do you use to make your beats? Um, I use all uh, Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops. No, I'm a straight digital. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a digital digger. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm on internet digging heavy. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was I was graceful enough for my dad to leave me one of the illest records collection ever. Like, mm-hmm. I have one of the illest records, low key, one of the illest record collections. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I mean, go back. Right. There's just so much. There's just so much to go through, so much stuff, and I just really don't have a lot of time. Like, I wish I did. But other than that, like, I got one of the illest record collections, so I'm, 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 I'm slowly getting into the actual taking from records, mm-hmm. you feel me, and then transferring them over to the uh, MacBook or whatever. But for the most part, I've been, I've been doing everything off the internet for loops, man. So my sound is, is all off for loops, which, like, you'll never be able to tell. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, looping or chopping, which one do you prefer? Um, I do a little bit of both, mm-hmm. you know, but like I, I love looping. I mm-hmm. love looping and then creating my own sound around the loop. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's kind of masking the sound pretty 
much, I guess, what I'm, you know, so that's something that, that I, I love doing. Like, I love taking rare samples mm-hmm. or, like, some weird band in Scotland or some weird shit like that or whatever and, and playing it for West and it'd be, like, crazy, you know, like, mm-hmm. like, man, like, that feeling, that feeling alone is dope to be able to take something, you know, that 20, 30, 40 years old, man, and recreate it to something special, man. People just gravitate to love music, which is crazy to me. Like, I didn't expect, mm-hmm. I didn't expect any of this to happen. Right, you know, right. Like, not this fast. Not, not as fast as it's happening. Right, right. You know? Right, so do, do, do you feel like you're in the shadow of, like, Derringer? Because I notice he gets, a, his beats get a lot more run than, than you do. I mean, Derringer been around since Sailor One, though. You feel me? Like, I look mm-hmm. up to Derringer. Derringer right. is what, what really got me to produce the Hell and Nash and all the other records because mm-hmm. of the way he was bringing to the table. Right. You know? And, like, I know me and him, like, we do, we in the same lane, but our sounds are totally different. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, with the things we choose to sample, the things we choose to do are totally different, you know? Right. So, therefore, 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 it creates, you know, mm-hmm. it creates that, that path. Right, right. No, I'm, just, I'm not just limited to just making beats. And on top of that, I'm a sound engineer. You know, I engineer all the sound, you know? Right. There too. So, like, man, like, making beats for me, though, was never, uh, it was never I wanted to be famous for making beats. I made, I, I make beats just for Wes, you know? Right. I just want to make sure Wes I got the highest shit possible at all times. And, like, I'm okay, I'm cool with that. Right, right, definitely. You know? Definitely. That's, that's Right, so oh, and to watch him to, to be in the same, to, just to be in the same like round group family as him, you know, is a mm-hmm. blessing to me. Right. I learned a lot. Like, man, he taught me how to actually mix and master my actual beats. You know, I didn't know nothing about that. Mm-hmm. I was just making beats and exporting them and shit, and it was that. Right. You know, but now I'm actually mixing, I'm mastering my, my beats, my production, each sound. I get to mix and master. Other he brought me to all the world. That's what's up. Yeah. So, especially as a young up and coming producer who, like, like, I I get a lot of looks, a lot of love from people just off the real few projects that I've been able to, uh, been blessed to be a part of, you know? Right. I get a few, I get a few dope looks here and there on that, which is amazing to me, which is all, all amazing for me. But, like, like I've always said since day one, like, man, being famous, man, with this is not my. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not what I'm trying to obtain. Being a famous producer, that's not, if it happens, it happens, you know? Right, right, for definitely. For the most part, as an entity, I'm all about building something from the ground up, man, that's ours. Right. That's called ours, and don't nobody else run or make moves for us and do it ourselves, you know? Absolutely. And that's my main focus, man. That's what I want to be able to see and try to move forward to as, as it becomes more of a company and household man. Right. You know, like I want people to understand, like this is a, this is a family, this is a home, man. It's not, mm-hmm. it's not, it's, it's not something that, it's not like everybody else. It's not one and done, you know? Right, right. It's not, it's not hit or miss. Like we here to stay, man. We here, we, we creating legendary moves. We creating legendary music. And on top of that, we having fun. Right. You know, we from Buffalo, New York. Mm-hmm. And to be featured on all these magazines and blogs and, mm-hmm just doing shows all over and then hopefully soon we can be overseas soon because they they call us like crazy overseas and it's just like man like it's just amazing to be from buffalo new york like man i'm from somewhere where where people think we like live on farmland and cows and we milk mm-hmm. the cows and chickens right. and 
like it ain't. Like yeah. people don't know Buffalo the second biggest city in New York State. You mm-hmm. know, right next to New York City. Right. You know, people don't know that. You know, and I, you feel me? It'd be from where I'm from, and to get the attention that we get, that we have, like, it, like just to tell you, ain't nobody made it out of Buffalo since Rick James. Right. 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 And Definitely. A lot of people don't even know Rick James is from Buffalo. Right. No you doubt. Know? No a lot doubt. Of people don't even know that. You know, so that goes to show you the history. And just like how much of a drug, like, come on, we lost four Super Bowls in a row, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, this city crazy. Like, this city, man, it's, I love my city. I love where I'm from. It's, it's wild, but at the end of the day, man, it's a beautiful place, man. I'm glad to be from here. I'm glad to be the put. I'm glad to be in the position that I am, am in, and be able to make it with this music stuff. You feel me? Because I can be that hope. Westside can be that hope. Conway can be that hope. Griselda itself can be that hope for the next, you know, for the next person to apply, take our blueprint, apply to their situation. You feel me? And, and make it the same way. You know, that's that's something I'm big on. That's something I'm real big on, man, because I see so much talent, so much potential in, in, in the world, in my city alone. And it's like, you can't help everybody, but I really hope people take the blueprint for what we leave in the land and apply it to their situation, man. And like, not like, not like the handout thing, but take that blueprint and watch what we did, man, and do it for themselves. You know, and get their self on from there on. You know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that people can get that, realize that. That's why I try to do as many interviews as possible just to get that across. You feel me? Because I get it. Like I get over about 50, 50 emails a day, people trying to get me to sign them to Griselda and all that. I can't do none of that. You know? mm-hmm. I can't sign you to, I can't, I can't do that, you know? Right. But people always looking, they always, they, man, it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's a blessing. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's dope, man, but it's also a struggle, man. Like, we, this ain't happening overnight for us, man. Like, we, me and West planted, like, we planned this in 2013. For the way that is going now, and I, I didn't tell you the truth. I didn't expect for it to happen this fast. Right. Like, I didn't think I didn't think they was gonna catch one that fast. And then I, because of the style of music, I thought it would take a, a while for it to transition in and people to really catch on. And like, okay, it ain't just J Cole, it ain't just Kendrick Lamar doing this. Like, it's some solid, it's solid music out there. You know, right. It's definitely solid music, and for for the look that we got so far, it's just like man. Word. You know what though? I would love to see. Really, I would love to see a Griselda winners tour. I think that would be really dope for hip hop. No doubt, no doubt. Now a tour period, Griselda tour period, will be dope for hip hop. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, like that's that's what I'm saying. Like, like you said, it's a blessing. Like, like it's a Yeah, 
right, man, and, 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 and numbers can be reached correctly, and, and as long as it makes sense, man. As long right. as anything, for everything we do is because if you see if you see it on a national scale, we did it because it makes sense somewhere, you know? Right, as definitely. As long as it makes sense, like, I'm all for it, man. Like, I'm with it. Like, I'm totally with it as long as things make sense, man, because nowadays it ain't just us no more. Like, we got families to take care of. Make sure y'all come to Charlotte too. Oh, definitely, man. Definitely, man. We we man, we definitely rock with Charlotte Heavy, man. All right, that's definitely what's up. Rock with Charlotte Heavy, man. So I'm mean, if I, if I, if I, I'm trying to do 90 days, man. We get a 90 day tour going, man. It's song. Yo, that would be dope. Definitely going, man. That would yeah, definitely, definitely be dope. You know, so definitely, man. We we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, man. Hopefully, hopefully, this we'll see what this summer brings. All right. You know. That's what I'm talking about. Sure. Yo, but um, are we gonna hear any more production from you on any more projects? Like, are we gonna get a a a, a, a camouflage monk in, in West Side project or a, a Conway and camouflage monk project project? Absolutely, that was fire. We got a whole nother Black Pearl in the cut ready to go. But we don't know, we don't, I don't know if I'm going to do it, call it Black Pearl. I think I want to do something fresh with him, you know, and put him on the cover and let him do his thing. Right. But with that, mm -hmm. definitely. I got, a, I got a bunch of records with my homie as well. Mm. That's, that's going to be releasing soon, hopefully. Uh, He's next, right? He's I got crazy records with my homie. I mean, man, me and my homie chemistry is probably the best. I probably got the best chemistry with my homie. Right, he's up next, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my homie got a style that's like it ain't just like like West Side style is is more geared towards grimy, you know, airy, grimy. Opposed to with my with my Kami, I can get busy, you know, I can get loose. You feel me? Because like my samples is generated on like I sample what I like to hear, you know. Mm -hmm. It just so be it West or some or kind or whoever else just likes it, you know. Right. But everything is I sampled it because I liked it. You know, this is something that I feel that I will rap off, you know? Right. At the end of the day, so I sample that, I do that, and then I got a lot of the records that I did uh, for my economy. Bunch of joints, man. I can't wait till the records drop, man. I can't wait till the world hear my economy, man. This, this dude, man. Like, I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of a group of people who are dedicated and ready to do this shit because, I mean, when I tell you, man, it's not stop like when West when I tell you West do projects in one day, like it's that real. Like he'd come in the studio if he's feeling it like man, we might knock out a whole project mm. one day, couple hours, you know? Right. 
box of pizza, you know, and, and we go. We done, we done did a whole project before you know it, the whole day, you know, so. Right. But my honey definitely, like, man, my, my, my is so serious, and I can't wait. I can't wait till the world get mine, so. Word, true indeed. I'm waiting on that, too, you know? Yeah. Definitely waiting on that, too. But anyway, yo, I want to just thank you for being on the check-in with me, you know, taking time out your busy schedule and all of that. Yo, much success to you and the whole Griselda family, you know? And You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all are dope. Man, I appreciate it, man. Definitely appreciate it, man. Like I said, I respect everything you're doing. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad I was able to reach out and we made this happen. Oh, yeah. Help me get the awareness out, like, man. Next, man. Huh. Next, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you was next up anyway. I was, I was gunning for you anyway. You know what I mean? So, you just happened to get to me first. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I had to check the interview. You know, I checked the interview with you and Danger. I'm like, man, I really like this, man. I think it's only right if I, you know, if I did, if we did a part two. Right, right. Absolutely, absolutely. Just to keep, you know, keep ball rolling, man. You know. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right. All right, my dude, I appreciate it. All right? All right, man, I appreciate it, man. No doubt. Peace. All right, man. Hip-hop to the core, boom, baptized. 